Hey guys, John here from Bring the SEO. Today I want to talk about something that many might consider somewhat of an unpopular uh, opinion, and that is um, having to rank your own website in order to get clients. This is something that has been on my mind um, throughout the week, and it's it came about because I received a comment that was posted one of my Facebook ads. I'm running Facebook ads at the moment in order to promote the SEO Accelerator program. Um, it's the same strategy that I use myself to get clients um, as well as customers for the program, and it's the same strategy and sales funnel that all of the students are currently using to get themselves clients. Now, I'll read this comment to you. This kind of pissed me off a little bit, but this goes to show, and this, this really highlights and demonstrates this false belief uh, in inaccuracy, inaccuracy, at least the way in which I see it, that exists in the SEO community. And it, this is what leads to a lot of the problems associated with SEO consultants being unable to get clients. Now, I'll read this to you. It says, if an SEO agency has to chase clients instead of backing their products and services, services by ranking their own website organically and getting their own traffic, then that's an agency that clients should stay away from. In other words, if you're here running ads, you obviously don't know how to do SEO. And this is how you're getting clients. You don't know how to do SEO, so you've got to run ads to get SEO clients, which is just absolute nonsense. Now, I responded to this. I don't normally respond, but uh, this one kind of got up my nose a bit, so I did, and um, admittedly, I didn't put a great deal of thought into it. But th this was my response. I said, there's a big difference between running a highly targeted paid marketing campaign, right, and hoping the phone rings because you rank for something in Google. And I know this to be absolutely true, right? Now, you might be thinking, well, hang on a minute. I don't agree with that. Um, as I said, this is probably going to be an unpopular opinion and maybe I'll get some angry comments from SEO consultants saying, if you don't know how to rank in Google, then you shouldn't be offering SEO services. Look, as I said in that response, there's a big difference between ranking for a generic term in Google and hoping the phone rings and running a, a paid marketing campaign and targeting a specific type of client, right? And again, this comes back to what I said just a moment ago around most SEO consultants struggling to get leads or struggling to get paying clients because they're operating as generalists and they don't know who, who they serve. And this leads to this behavior of believing that, hey, in order to get clients, we need to demonstrate that we can actually rank in Google. So let's go and invest all of this time, money, and effort and rank for something meaningless like SEO Sydney or SEO New York because that's what we can see. There's search volume there. And if we can demonstrate that we can rank for this term, then hey, we're on a winner. That, for the most part, is absolute nonsense. And I'll tell you exactly why. Because when you're ranking for generic terms like that, you have no control over the types of leads that come through. This is incredibly important and this revisits everything that I talk about in the training program as well as here on my YouTube channel. If you don't know who you serve, then you're going to be getting all sorts of nonsense coming through. Dentists, landscapers, people selling sunglasses, um, you know, people wanting to rent out, you know, jumping castles for birth children's birthday parties. It's going to be an absolute, it's going to be an absolute mess. And because of that, you're, you know, look, I could speak underwater for, with a mouthful of marshmallows for an hour at a time on this topic. I won't in order to try and keep this video short. But when you're ranking for generic terms like that, Again, you're going to have no control over the types of leads that come through. Now, when you're running a paid marketing campaign, you can say, right, we specialize in SEO for roofing contractors, let's say, and we're just going to target those people. So again, you know, this whole, this whole uh, belief around, uh, you know, 
having to rank your own site in order to firstly get clients, but also demonstrate as a means of demonstrating that you know what you're doing is just nonsense. I've signed up hundreds of clients over the past, you know, 17, 18 years, and most of them couldn't care less what I ranked for or what I didn't. And for those who made a fuss about it, I turned them away. Maybe I'm turning this into a rant. I don't know. But just be careful. I think, look, I'll finish this by saying, I'll, I'll finish this video by saying this. Should you rank your own site in order to get clients? Well, the answer to that is actually yes, given everything that I've already just said. So long as you're ranking for terms that target your most ideal prospect. In other words, if you're specializing, you niche down and you specialize and you're just working with roofing contractors, then yes, obviously it makes sense to rank for something like search engine optimization services for roofing contractors or roofing contractors, you know, SEO for roofing contractors or digital marketing services for roofing contractors and all of the content that you create on your site should be targeted for that specific type of client. But if you're building, if you're trying to rank for something like SEO Sydney, then best of luck to you because you're going to waste an enormous amount of time. I know what I would prefer. I would prefer to run ads and, ha and be pulling in five or six clients um, a month or maybe more of the exact or ideal client that I want to work with rather than spending 12 months trying to rank for something like SEO London and have all sorts of nonsense coming at me with you know, people working in a multitude of different industries and having to deal with pushback and resistance around pricing and all of the other problems associated with um, operating as a generalist. So um, I'll leave you with that to think about. Don't waste time trying to rank your own site in Google in order to get clients or have the, carry this false belief that no one's going to work with you unless you can demonstrate that you can you know, rank your own site, your own agency site in Google because it's just not true. All right, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.